week we're going to go to the beach and we're going to be making some pictures of sandals or flip-flops. Say flip-flop. Flip-flop. Come on. To help us draw sandals, we're gonna do some tracing today. If you wanna find a shoe, you can trace that, or you can trace your feet. So if you wanna follow along today, you can while you're watching the video, but you can also just watch the video and then do the project. I'm gonna use my real foot today. Ooh, should have washed my feet before this video. Don't worry, they're not stinky. Okay, I'm gonna put my foot right here, guys. You can see I've been walking barefoot outside. I wonder who's got the dirtiest feet. Probably Silas, actually. Well, I'm gonna trace my foot like this. I'm just gonna go all the way around and do my best. You can ask someone for help in your house if it's a little too hard for you. Make sure you don't just do one foot. You wanna do both feet because they sort of look different. You want your left foot on the left and your right foot on the right. Once you have your feet traced, we're going to draw the straps of your sandals. That's a similar shape to an uppercase A. We're gonna make the tip of the A be a little bit toward the inside of the shoe. So it's also like drawing a mountain. And then I'm gonna draw a second line that's just like that first one to show the thickness of my flip-flop straps. I'll do that on both of my sandals. Now I'm gonna add some waves up in the corner. I like to go from the top of my paper over to the side of my page to make it look like a diagonal. And I'll just wiggle my line to make it look like waves. Now I'm gonna do some Sharpie outlines. You can do this with a pen or a dark marker. And I'm gonna speed up the video a little bit because you can stop following along now and just watch the video to get an idea of what you're supposed to do for the rest of the activity. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, now I'm ready to add some other cool things to my picture. I'm gonna add a design on my flip-flops. I really like spirals. Wouldn't it be cool to have flip-flops with spiral designs on them? What would you like to have on your flip-flops? Design something that you would want to buy at the store. That's actually a real job. If you grow up someday and you want to be a designer, you could work for a cool company and design shoes or clothes. There's my design. And then I think I want my flip-flop foot part to actually have a design too. So I'm going to do some stripes. You can do any design you want. Make them cool, make them funky. Go for it. There we go. Now I'm gonna add some cool things on the sand to make this feel like it's more of a beach scene. I'll add a little sea star. How about a little shell? like a little conch shell. Maybe I'll add one of these clam shells. I like to put lines in it to show that it's got those ribs. You can add any other details. You might want to add a pail and shovel or a sand castle. I'm just gonna add some dots and circles here to show that it looks like sand. Little circles and tiny dots will make it look textured. And now I'm ready to add my color. You can add color to yours too. Remember to think about the design of your sandals. What colors would you want your sandals to be if you were going to buy them in store? I like pink and blue. I'm gonna use markers today and crayons. So I might outline some parts with marker and color in the spaces with some crayon. You can color yours however you like. So when the video is done, just finish tracing your lines 
add a design to your flip-flops and maybe some things on the sand. Then you can color it in. Flippy floppy. Flippy floppy. We hope you had fun drawing with us. See you next time. Have fun, yeah.